Does it ever make y'all feel old when it's players that you used to watch a little while back and, and now they're defensive coordinators and possible head coaches? Like that happened with me with uh, Gerard Mayo, uh, D'Amico Ryans, uh, and there have been more as well. But it's always like, wow, that's crazy. And But now it's happening with Anthony Weaver because the Ravens. Um, now, this was one that was expected. This was one that we, we all saw coming, an interview that we all saw coming, because this is what the Ravens have done in the past. And usually when somebody has been doing something a certain way for such a long time, you don't really expect them to change it. So this interview, it was expected. So they interviewed Anthony Weaver. Uh, a report came from Jeremy Fowler. He said Ravens interviewed run game coordinator slash defensive line coach Anthony Weaver for the vacant defensive coordinator job. Per source, an in-house candidate in the mix to replace Wink Martindale. Now, one thing, and, and let me know if, if maybe I'm just like looking at this in a weird way. Something that always confuses me because I've seen it. I know he was our defensive line coach this year. But where it says run game coordinator, that whenever I would see that title next to Anthony Weaver's name, it would always confuse me. Now, I, I would think that if he's a defensive line coach, maybe they're talking about the defensive run the, the run defense game coordinator but it says run game coordinator and i would always see that and i would like wonder like not offensive run game coordinator right but anyway anthony weaver uh had an interview with the ravens for the job so let, let's look at anthony weaver's coaching history because uh, we know he recently came from the texas before he was with the ravens but let, let's take a look at it so um, in 2011, he was with North Texas. He was a linebackers coach. Then the following year, hey, he, he said, I'm, I'm trying to go to the big leads. So he went to the Jets uh, as an assistant defensive line coach. So that's nice. When, when you can come on as an assistant coach, that's the start. That, that's the start because that allows you to be groomed to go from being an assistant to having an assistant. And that's exactly what happened to him. Uh, then the following year, he went from New York to Buffalo, so from New York to New York, uh, but he went to be their defensive line coach. No assistant, none of that. And I want to say, was this around the Rex Ryan time? I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, um, then he followed that. He went to be the Cleveland Browns defensive line coach in 2014 and 2015. And then with the Houston Texans, he was their defensive line coach from 2016 to 2019, so for a little while. But then... Despite them being a very messy organization, as we all know, uh, in 2020, he was the he became not only that, not not the defensive line coach, but the defensive coordinator. So he got a nice raise. He got a nice promotion. And that's like, all right, he started moving your shoulders a little bit different because you, you're not you're not a coach. You're, you're a coordinator. You're not a position coach. You are a coordinator. That's big. So shout out to him. Uh, and it shows that he worked his way up and he's been through it. And obviously he's been through it because he used to play on the field. He used to play with the Ravens. So he, of course, got that that respect and that appreciation for doing defense the right way. Um, and then he was also the defensive line coach with the, uh, the, the Texans in 2020. But then, of course, this year he was a defensive line coach with the Ravens. Uh, and the run game coordinator. And of course, because we know Texans, they were just a mess last year, the year before last, and they just they they blew everything up uh the year before last. Now this offseason they blew everything up uh again. So with Anthony Weaver, I would have to think that he would be a favorite. I know uh Jacina Anderson, she tweeted out something that was very interesting and, and shout out to uh Tanisha, um, Tanisha for uh, tagging me in this because initially I hadn't seen it, um, but she was speaking about the Ravens and she said the Ravens already conducted a Zoom interview with Saints uh, secondary coach uh, Chris Richard yesterday uh, for their vacant D.C. position per league source. And she said, my understanding is that Baltimore will wrap up their search within a week or so. So that kind of lets us know that they want to pick up the process and they want to get this thing uh, done with. And you can understand why, because it's like, hey, um, we need to get our new defensive coordinator so we can start planning, so he can start implementing his stuff, so we can start planning for free agency, we can start planning for the draft, and we can start planning for the future under whoever this defensive coordinator is getting ready to be. 
So I'm sure that they don't want it to be a long, drawn out process. They, they want to nip this thing in the bud and, and they want to get it done so they can move forward with everything else. So we'll see. We'll see who the next candidate is. We'll see who the next interview is. We'll see who the next guy is who they feel like uh, could possibly be a replacement for Wink Martindale. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm out.